Hello, hello. In this video, I'm gonna show you Topolino for model Lince C2 for and the Excel version. Now, first on the components, this is the tool. Basically, this is a movable element of the tension here. So, this is only, let's say, not for decoration, but to keep those two parts together. It's uh, quite easier than to separate them. Reset cap as usual. Reset to this small topo or a mouse is used to reset the additional pins which the Lindsay model has. Okay, now to fully reset always you slide the button back you see there is this slider here going through the pins and if it's not pulled back you, you risk damaging not you risk it but you will damage the tool mainly the slider so slide back you see both arrows they should correspond to each other again slide it back now First job is to reset the main pins. You see an inclination here, an angle, and you simply push them nicely in. I emphasize on the word nicely in, they should be nicely pushed. Now, as you can see, the main pins are fully reset, and I need to reset the additional side pins. With the back of the small mouse, you see those openings here on an angle. Look at the angle. Let me something like this. You push it one by one. Now, with this tool, I have managed to make more than 55 openings without changing any pins without touching it in any way and uh, I want to test if the decoder is still operational which I hope it is otherwise I have to change uh, my video and my theory anyway uh, the tool is now fully reset now the tool comes with 10 main pins and one two three four five side pins those are positioned here on the back with the help of the reset tool you remove the cap and here in those small plastic bags you will find the pins later in this video at the end of it i'm gonna change you how easy it is to uh, change the pins now, for now, I'm gonna close this cap. Okay, I'm gonna start with uh, this model of Linse. Here we have active uh, pins, two rows of active pins. So I'm gonna be using two rows of my uh, pins in the Topolino tool. The tool is already being reset. So let's start. Fully functional, two rows of active pins, the color is fully reset. Now, the first thing to consider, it cannot be inserted. This is because the shape of the tool changes thanks to the tension. So adjust it a bit when it takes the correct form, you will simply insert. Slide back. And here starts the standard operation. This is where you apply tension and this is where you have to gently, you know, make a one push here. So up, left, release, down, left, release. Now there is a trick here. 
because of the addition of side pins, from time to time you have to go also to the right. Every five or six times you go once on the right. And whenever you turn, I strongly recommend you to turn it with the help of the tension and not the back handle. To extract straight neutral position, up, extract, and this is the code. Again, I will insert it, adjusting the form here. Nothing happens until I slide back the button and by the tension, I turn it. Don't forget, as I said in the beginning, this decoder has 50 plus openings now and it's fully functional. In the next part, I'm going to show you the uh, cylinder model with one row of active pins, of course, much easier. You don't have to reset the uh, side pins at all. That's it. Okay. Let's reset again. Slide back. Insert arrow arrow. Only the main pins will be reset here. You don't need side ones. Again, tension up, left, down, left. Straight neutral position, up, and extract. The next part, this one here. Now here you must know that the pins are on the opposite side, they are coming from the top, so the two must be reversed. And also you must get rid of the uh, side pins, as they will only interfere with the opening. It doesn't matter how I'm going to insert it. Slide back, insert, reset, now get rid of the side pins, simply push them, that's enough. Slide up, this is how I will insert it again, here I'll have the same issue. Make sure you adjust the shape and you insert, slide up. Here I go down and because of the position of the pins, I go down and I do it like this. Up, down, see I don't push it, I push it upwards, I don't push it down. To extract, same neutral position, extract, cold, I can insert it back in after adjusting the shape, And that's it. Model inside. And so to open with to pull in on the color. Okay. One of the pins 
is now missing. It's this one here. Don't forget, you will find them here. Slide back and put it on a flat surface like this. It's very important for you to note that they're like inclined a bit on an angle so you have to find the correct spot here and here there is a small canal so try to insert it in that small canal inclined a bit people are usually afraid you will need sharp tweezers and just the correct spot holding it like this now try to push it as you can see, I didn't manage to push it all the way in. I'm going to reverse it and I'm going to try to fix this on the other side. And here goes my pin. Next thing, you need to check if it has the perfect traction. It's not too loose nor too tight. Of course, uh, during the opening process, always use the reset cap otherwise you risk popping it out so this is for the main pins now on the other ones you will see that they are fully in so I will try to remove one either I can remove it with the help of the you know the tweezers or I can simply insert a new one and push the old one out hold it like this insert okay they're very small so be careful This is how you should hold it. Now carefully insert it inside the small slit. And now push it. Or push it on a flat surface. It will be much easier. The old one is gone and you are left with the new one which is not visible. I'm going to reset it now so that you can see it. Here it is. As simple as that. So basically this is what you need. Flat surface, good eye and you will be done in less than couple of seconds so up to a minute so this is how you can change the pins of Topolino or Lisa thank you